really don't like blowing up balloons. Look, it's my birthday. I should have a good, there's my birthday. I, oh, was I complaining again? Sometimes when we don't want to do something or we don't think it's fair that we have to do it, complaining seems like the easiest thing to do. You'll be all like, why God, why is this happening? Why do good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people? A prophet in the Bible had the same complaints to God as we do. His name is Habakkuk. He was complaining to God about all of the injustice going on in the world around him definitely a struggle we can relate to. But even though Habakkuk was so frustrated, he never got impatient with God. He gives this illustration in chapter two of waiting on God's response. He says, I will go up to the lookout tower. I'll station myself on the city wall. I'll wait to see how the Lord will reply to me. And then I'll figure out how his reply answers what I've complained about. Back in the day, watchmen would stand on a super high post and watch over this large region of land. And if they saw a messenger or an enemy approaching, they would give a warning to everybody in the village. As watchmen, they'd be looking out into the distance. And when they saw something coming, it'd be kind of hard to make out what it was at first. It'd be kind of blurry, but as it got closer, it would get clearer and clearer to them what was approaching. And so often, this is just like our relationship with Jesus. Life can be tough, and we definitely won't have all the answers about why things are the way that they are. And sometimes when things get closer, they'll become clearer, but sometimes they also might not. The point is, is that regardless of our experience, we just need to trust that God is God and let go of our complaints. We just need to be on the lookout for what answers Jesus will give us through his word and through his spirit. So my challenge for you today is instead of complaining, trust in God's plan.